Now, defending champion Cream Line Cool Smashers extended their unbeaten run in the PVL Open Conference to 11 games with another convincing victory over the Air Force Lady Jet Spikers. Choco Mucho, meanwhile, continued to climb up the standings after winning their third straight match. And tell us more about the weekend's PVL matches. We're bringing back Sinjin Reyes and Madame Charo Soria. It is an honor and a privilege. To it be is our here. honor and privilege to be likewise, getting the insights likewise. of uh, of Madame Charo, and because of that, we'll start with you. Let's start with that Balipur win over Chef's Classics, and and for you, Charo, I'm feeling mo tong Balipur nagpakita ng ano ba? Pusong palaban, yes. tibay ng loob uh, in this win over Chef's Classic. I mean, it was really a seesaw battle. We can see from the onset, no? And even in the the first elimination round meeting between the two teams, alam mong match na match sila. So, coming into this game, alam natin na talagang lalaban yung both teams. But Bali Pure, I mean, it was also because of the the injury of their main setter. Tapos nakabalik sila. They were down even in the last... In the fifth set, the last set of the game, they were down by three points mm -hmm. mid-set. So nakikita ko talaga yung pusong palaban nila, yung puso, yung tibay ng loob na sinasabi nga natin, yung grit. So, um, I mean, Bombita fired 27 points dito, Miko. I mean, coming from her, very aggressive to help also Balipier get that win, get that um, aggressive win over Chef's Classics. There's so much to say about how the attitude of Balipier has changed, how they're playing pretty well. There's also a lot to say about Bombita and the firing power but I'd like to highlight something else it's really about their digging their floor defense talagang they're really um, masipag sa pagkuha ng coverage yun talaga yung nakita natin dito sa game na to and it's not just one, two players because if you look at the stats several players contributed pero yung overall stats nun ng buong squad talagang yun yung magandang pinakita kasi lahat sila may sinusungkit na bola and that's something that's important especially if you're facing also a gritty team on the other side in Chef's Classic. I mean, they tried their best but on the other side, it was just really Bali Pure showing out their heart. Okay, let's stay with the defense team. No? Yung, mm -hmm. yung, pang, yung maganda depensa as we discuss Banco Perlis' win over Motolite and for you, Charo, Madam Charo, uh, <laughs> You saw that. You saw yung defense ng Banco Perlas in this match. Yes, a lot changed in terms of the defense pattern of the girls. No, they had a very good de defensive attitude in that game against Motolite. Overall, the team's performance for defense was at I think at 55 percent. So that's over and above the team's average. And if they continue to play like that, then they're going to be a very formidable team in the next couple of games. Um, this is Banco's potential always yes. at work. Like, <laughs> Ito naman yung lagi natin sinasabi when we talk about Banco, that they always have that potential to play this way. And I guess it was good first ball which led to the unsurprising performance of Jem in distributing the ball that combined to their efforts in this game. I mean, activating Sue Roses who garnered 13 points was really a big deal and hats off to Banco Perlas. The question is, can they carry that over in their next games? Uh, another question that needs to be answered, eh, sino man tatalo dito sa cream line? <laughs> so they're still undefeated. Uh, parang walang makatumba dito sa cream line in, the PVL, in this PVL tournament. And uh, again, for you, Chara, parang dominance talaga ito ng cream line. It's, it's a very, I mean, they really manifest um, overall dominance in all, in all the skills, scoring-wise, non-scoring-wise. And it goes to show also with the deep bench. We always say this, um, Tito Mingo, ang lalim ng bench ng Cream Line. Even if they do not play the likes of, let's say, Eliza Valdez and, mm -hmm. and Gia Morado, they can still get a lot of players who will contribute not only to points but to a win. So, I mean, that's still the question now. Who can beat Cream Line? Since I don't want to sound like a broken record. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Sige, mo, mo. Sige, mo well, in the first place, <laughs> the record speaks for itself. Yeah. Definitely. But... I think what they really did well, they served hard. Uh, I got to cover the game. You'd really notice Paneng was mentioning this several times. Nagbago yung service. Binigatan talaga yung service. And Char and I were talking, it's unsurprising for a coach tie system. Yeah. Aside from serving hard, Kyle Negrito, you have 21 points of Gemma Galanza. Good job. Um, great points from Michelle Gumabo as well. Good job. But really, it was Kyle who made the difference. She was jump-setting. It changed the complexion of the game. It changed the tempo of Dreamline's game. Very similar to Gia Morados. Parang you're not missing Gia in court anymore because Kyle is really filling in the shoe properly. And that's why Dreamline is still undefeated. Now, a team to watch is Chocomucho. Yes. This team is... Ayan na. They figured <laughs> things out. Correct, they're, 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 on, they're on a roll. They're on a nice... Uh, 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 momentum here 
Um, how are they doing this, Charo? Speaking about momentum, Tito Miko, I think Choco Mucho is at the right time wherein they will be, they, they will just be about to to peak as a team. They're getting new players mm -hmm. also off the bench to play. And I have to say, um, speaking about defense, and I think defense will mm -hmm. win this conference. No? Um, Choco Mucho's defense has improved so much from their first game. They're now almost at 50% both digs and um, receives. And that will help a lot, especially if you have a Catalentino in front, if you have a Madi Madai in front. Madi is a middle player, mm -hmm. so she needs a lot of good um, first good, balls. Yes, good first balls, good uh, defense coming from from the players. Para mabigay sa running, and that's really the forte of Madi. Yep, I'd have so. to agree with the defense part, definitely. But one factor is they they finally learned to close out. That's something that they've improved. I think it's too early yet to say if they're peaking because it's just two games that we've noticed it. So that's the part that I might have to disagree. But it's promising for now. It's promising. I don't want to jinx it. I don't want to say anything <laughs> about it yet. But it's really promising for Chocomucho because alam mo yung parang natutut to na sila dun sa mga na-experience nilang games. Hindi na sila yung oh, parang... Oh, yung mga 5-setter. Oh, yung mga 5-setter nila na sunod-sunod na pagkatalo. Tapos siglang ano. And what's interesting pa is they're just knocking right behind number 4, number 5, number 6. So, they really have a chance to still be part of the Final Four. And on that note, uh, maraming salamat, uh, Sinjin Reyes and Madam. Yep. Saro Soriano for the incredible insights mm -hmm. the about thesis. the, P the thesis <laughs> on the PVL. Thank you very much. This has been The Score. I'm Miko Alili. You can also watch The Score on I Want for free. And we'll leave you now with our features on the NCAA Badminton Finals and Wheeltex 45th Anniversary. We'll see all of you again tomorrow. Uh, sabi ko naman sa kanila bago mag-start, hindi na skills ang labanan eh. It's about moron puso na lang talaga. Kung, kung gusto mo manalo, tayo, gusto talaga nila manalo, makuha ulit yung corona, sa kanila naman gagaling, hindi na sa coach. Uh, yung cheer, yung crowd ng mga players, mga kasama nila, yun yung mas lalo nag-push sa kanila para manalo. Sobra po yung saya, sobra sobra. Sobra pa sa unang naranasan namin mag-champion. Kasi pinilit po namin ibalik, pinilit po namin bumangon ulit, na ibalik ulit yung corona sa Legarda. Hindi, hindi magiging posible tong championship namin ng three-peat kung hindi dahil sa mga tumulong sa amin. Actually, ano yun eh, talaga, it's, it's anybody's ball game. Na, ang nangyari lang is puso eh. Maganda po sa feeling na nadepend namin kasi pinaghirapan po namin to eh. Tatlong buwan po pinaghirapan namin. Gigising kami maaga para mag-training po. Sobrang hirap po kasi po natalo yung first single namin and then doubles po bumawi. Then ako po yung last single. Talaga pong binigay ko lahat. Doubles na po yung mga nasa taas dyan. Hello! Pumalapak na mga dyan! Wow! Celebrating uh, with the 40th anniversary. Uh, we started 1974. Also, we're having our motor show right now. And also, some raffles, as you can see. We have the Wiltek Idol. So, there's a lot of things happening now. Uh, right now, technically, we're having our final draw. So, may the lucky winner win. Okay, that's three minutes. Thank you, Jack. Congrats. First, we want to say thank you to all of our customers. Hindi po namin ito magagawa kung wala po kayo. Ang gagawin ko ngayon ay magtatawag ako ng mga member ng iba-ibang brand. Kaya please, samahan niyo ako ngayon on stage. Una-una, from Honda, Sir Raymond Cristobal. And of course, to our suppliers. Of course, from Honda, Kawasaki, Suzuki, Yamaha, TBS, KTM, Harley-Davidson. Kung wala po kayo lahat, this is not to be happening. And thank you to our minor sponsors, KYT, Alpine Stars, 
And to all our major friends, maraming maraming salamat po sa inyong pag-suporta.